at 9 on X49. Look forward to getting some more hats to add to the collection. As we ring in this new year, some people are welcoming 2022 with open arms. Others happy to wish good riddance to this last year that was. Good evening and happy new year. I'm Mark Maxwell. And I'm Marley Capper. As a tradition people really make is resolutions. And after a few weeks of some, many lose their motivations. WCIA 3 Bradley Swank is live in our newsroom. Bradley, what are some things people can do to keep their resolutions going? Well, I talked with a gym owner who gave me some good advice, and not only for people who are trying to be more healthy or lose weight and go to the gym. She said it's best to find a way to hold yourself accountable. I think the biggest mistake people make is they take on too much too soon. Making New Year's resolutions has been a tradition for centuries. They try to change so many things at once. One of the most popular promises that people make to themselves is to be healthier or lose weight. So what they can do is pick something that they really feel comfortable they can stick with and then commit to that and really work on it. Maybe a sticker chart on their refrigerator or hanging out with a buddy who will do the same thing. If that's your goal, Tara Steiger says there is more than one way to work out. You can pick a plan off the internet. There are tons and tons of options. You can hire a personal trainer. Um, here we love CrossFit because one of the things is it builds a community and people are like, hey, I didn't see you at class yesterday. Where are you? And, and if you can't make it to the gym. Anything people can do, I would say walking, um, going with a friend for a walk, picking up some soup cans, doing some squats in the doorway every time you go through a doorway. There's just anything you can do to keep moving. But some people just want to leave the bad in 2021 and bring in the good to 2022. Sean Moody says he hopes things can get back to some kind of normalcy. Hopefully things can get better, get back to work in a normal life. But he has a lot he's looking forward to. I'm an avid hat collector, so I'm looking forward to getting some more hats to add to the collection. I'm almost at 300 now. His New Year's resolution was to spend more time with family since he hasn't had that time with the pandemic lingering around. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Bradley Swank, WCI3, your local news leader. Thank you so much. With the cold weather coming, roads might be a little slicker.